All right, Coach. Well, how are things looking heading into your, uh, you know, this uh, game against UTSA? Good. You know, we uh, came back, bounced back Sunday, and had a good day of, uh, you know, getting on the film and making sure we, uh, uh, you know, went over uh, the things that we need to correct and, um, you know, had a good first day, obviously, here on Tuesday. So uh, the energy has been great. Um, you know, uh, they're excited about this week of, uh, you know, getting a week better and uh, looking forward to going out and competing. Just um, how are, how is the team vibe after the win? Well, it's always good after a win, right? Um, you know, uh, obviously, it's winning is always a challenge. It takes a lot of hard work and preparation that goes into it from your coaching staff and your players. And uh, anytime you can go out there and and uh, get a win, it's 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 huge. Um, you know, like I said, talk a lot about the momentum of you know keep stacking wins on top of each other, which is important. Uh, and it's always a lot easier to make uh, corrections uh, after a, after a win. Um, you know, so uh, but there's a lot of things we have to improve on and um, focus in on, on on making sure we get some of those things corrected this week uh, again because we're going against a really good football team. You mentioned this is a good football team you guys are playing. It seems like the UTSA series has really grown over the 10 years that it's been around. How has the series grown and changed over your time here? Well, it's it's always, uh, you know, it's always a very competitive game. There's passion on both sides. Um, a lot of former players played against each other. Um, you know, your alumni, your fans support and, uh, on both sides. So it's, it's a very passionate game. Um, and, uh, you know, both teams obviously want to go out there and, and win. So, uh, again, it's it is what it is. You know, it's it's uh, one of those rivalry games that um, you ought to be looking forward to play every single year. Yeah, and you mentioned the, the rivalry aspect of it. There's been so many great games and just consequential games over the years. Has that really added to just the nature of this series? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, there has been some great games and. Um, you know, we've been on the good side of some and not on the good side of some. And obviously, it's not a very good feeling when you're not. Um, but the biggest thing is, I think once the dust settles, you know, throughout the week and, um, you know, the anticipation leading up to the football game, once it's kicked off, it's, it's truly another game. And so um, then it's about going out there and making your routine plays and trying to execute as, as best you can. Uh, so. Uh, again, uh, I know we have to have a lot of great preparation this week um, in order to play, uh, you know, good enough to, to win the game. I mean, an opportunity to take the outright conference lead, how much, you know, intensity does that really add to the game? There's a lot of football left, um, you know, so really, I'm, I'm really focused in on trying to stay focused on going 1-0 um, in a week. And so you start looking ahead and looking where you stand and all that, that's just, it's distractions, right? And so um, our focus is on, uh, you know, UTSA is our next opponent up this week, and we're going to give them uh, our, our full respect of, uh, you know, preparing the right way, which I know they will as well. Um, uh, Coach does a great job at UTSA. they got a great team, and, uh, you know, again, it's uh, competitive each and every year. How do you manage to block out? We have pretty good practice at it. Um, you know, over the past uh, year or two, uh, we've had to block out a lot of outside noise. And so I think just having a mature football team, understanding, you know, what's, what's uh, uh, truly important um, within a week, uh, what's, what's important to focus on. And you have to eliminate the distractions. You will, because there's a lot of outside noise that are going to say a lot of different things this week. And, um, you, you can you can choose to uh, to eliminate it and focus in on what you can control, and that's your preparation with your teammates, holding yourself accountable, and uh, getting a week better. Or you can go to the other side and listen to it and be distracted all week. And so uh, again, we've we've been good. We have a mature football team, so uh, I feel like we can do that. You guys ended up ruining their perfect season last year. You kind of figured that that's going to be a you know, something they're going to come in ready to play this week. We're going to be ready to play no matter what. I think both teams, again, it's an important game for a lot of different reasons. Uh, both teams will be ready to play. They're going to prepare hard this week. Um, so I don't I don't really think about that stuff. And then just looking at UTSA, I mean, Frank Harris has 
become one of the more dynamic quarterbacks in the, in the country, really, mm -hmm. just what makes him so difficult to defend. Uh, he's extremely smart. He manages the game so well. Frank's <laughs> feels I, I feel like uh, Frank's been around as long as I have uh, in this league, and um, just a lot of experience. He does a great job. Their coaching staff does a great job. Um, understands how to get the ball to his playmakers. Um, you know, he can take his shots, but really does a great job of, uh, you know, quick quick throws to get the ball in the playmaker's hands and let them go make plays. And then obviously the run game, uh, they can attack you uh, different ways than that to where it makes it extremely difficult as a defense. Um, so you gotta be, uh, you gotta be very disciplined in your alignment, making sure that we're lined up right and your technique has to be great. And so uh, obviously they have, they have a, a very potent offense and uh, that's obviously something that uh, we'll have to garner our full attention this week. They've had a pretty good atmosphere for some of the games you guys have yep. played down there. And, and uh, Coach Trailer was uh, on his press conference today was calling for you know, 35,000 people to show up to this game. You think, do you anticipate this environment's gonna be pretty electric? I do, I do. I think, uh, uh, they'll have great support at the game, and I know it'll be loud. Um, I know uh, uh, our players will be excited. It'll be an exciting atmosphere. And again, um, you know, the good thing is, is we've had the opportunity to go on the road and, and play in some good atmosphere. Uh, but I'll tell you, it's, it's uh, in the dome. It'll be rocking, and uh, I know uh, I know both teams will be excited about that. What is coming off a game like you had last week, setting the rushing record for the school? What does that do for you heading into this week? Builds momentum, I think, and just you know validates your your preparation throughout the week. Validates uh, kind of what we're doing, kind of where our minds at. Um, you know, and you have to give our men a lot of credit. They've worked hard now, um, and they've, they've had to work hard uh, one day at a time and uh, block out a lot of distractions, overcome a lot of adversity, and they just keep plugging away. And so. Uh, it's uh, it's a credit to, to those those men out on the field. Uh, they're they're the ones that go out and make those plays. And I felt like we played uh, you know well as a team. We started fast, which was awesome to see on on all, really all three phases. And on defense, we had a, uh, four or five stops there in the first half. Uh, you know we were getting the ball and, and scoring touchdowns early, put a lot of pressure on them, and and then we were able to uh, you know start. Uh, Getting the run going, which was, was important coming into that game, knowing it's especially they got a they got a uh, very explosive offense. We knew that coming in, and so we felt like uh, uh, we needed to be really good at running the football in order to give ourselves a chance. I wanted to ask you about Mason Richards. Do you think he's just really kind of found his footing here lately? Yeah, it's getting more comfortable. You know, the longer you're in the system, uh, the more you kind of go throughout a season and understanding. Um, what your role, what your job is, um, you know, he's gotten better and better each week. And I think a lot of that's just the experience and the comfort, uh, being more comfortable each week. Um, and, and Coach Bennett and that defensive staff does a great job putting those guys in, in positions to be successful. So, but just because they put you there, you still got to go out and make those plays. And, uh, you know, he's, he's gotten better every week and uh, uh, been solid for us. You mentioned the running game. What was the, the difference that really helped you guys excel this last week? We just ran the ball well. Um, you know, I think uh, up front, that's where it starts. Um, starts within your scheme, kind of how you you prepare it for that week, um, how you're going to attack it. Your players have to buy into that, and they, they have to uh, do a great job on Saturdays. Um, Coach Blesh and, uh, felt like we, we uh, put together a great plan, uh, one we were really felt good about going into the game, and the players execute extremely well. And it takes everybody in order to run the football like that. It's not just up front O-line, it's running backs, um, but uh, but it's also those big tight ends. Um, it's the receivers out on the perimeter. Um, you know, I thought we were, and I thought uh, we, we did some creative things uh, kind of off of the run game that, that helped us get some more explosives. So um, I thought, uh, you know, we ran the ball really well, but we were explosive this past weekend, which really helped. I think we had 16 explosives. So we uh, hopefully we can continue to do that. Yeah, you mentioned getting uh, a little bit more creative there offensively. Has that been a, a focus as you've gone deeper into the season, or why do you think it's been? Well, yeah, I mean, you find guys that you want to get the ball, obviously. And, um, you know, it's not always uh, the one sitting right back next to the quarterback. And so, again, um, just mixing things up, you know, the, the more you uh, 
again, uh, you know, the way we, we've run the football, uh, people are going to gain extra hats in that box. So, again, we got to continue to be explosive out on the perimeter. Uh, Jair's done a great job of catching some shots. Uh, we were really close on a couple others, um, you know, and then uh, a couple of the reverses and fly sweeps, uh, you know, worked out, which is something that uh, we felt good about going in. And so each week's a little different. Each game plan's a little different. Um, kind of how you're having to attack different things. I mean, it's not all the same. So uh, right now we've, uh, again, we've had a really good Monday of, of getting our eyes on them and uh, really focusing on what they do. It's, it's a very, very different scheme um, defensively. And so uh, just still putting together our game plan, had good work today, and we're just going to continue throughout the week uh, feeling, f figuring out how we can attack these guys. What, what is it that stands out about UTSA? Look at that team. Well coached team, um, very well coached. They're experienced, um, you know, between Frank and Wisdom on the defensive side of the ball. Those guys have been around a long time and uh, played a lot of ball. And so, uh, obviously, they got a lot of talent, um, and they have a lot of experience. And they they have experience of uh, you know making their run last year. And uh, I think you know what are they? I don't know their exact numbers in conference over the last couple of years, but I think it's like fifteen and three maybe uh, in a championship. So. Uh, they have a lot of confidence. They have momentum, and so uh, again, we've—it's uh, always a very difficult team to face. They're very competitive, uh, well coached, and uh, we got to make sure that uh, uh, we give it our best this week. Do those receivers pose some problems? Seem like they got about three or four. They do, uh, they're, and again, they're—they're they're very, very talented, and um, you know. But that's—you're going to see that week in, week out in this league. Um, very talented teams, and there's a lot of great players, a lot of great coaches. So any given week, anybody can beat anyone. And uh, um, that's why you have to prepare the right way and have the right mentality going into the week. I wanted to ask you about Kevin Wood over here. Uh, <laughs> there he is. What's up, Wood? <clears throat> anyway, so he, you guys got him back last week. But was that a big boost for your guys' defense just to get him back out there? There's no doubt. Um, you know, he's been such a, a great teammate and a great player for <clears throat> us over the years. He's been here a long time. and. Very well respected the way he works, um, the effort and uh, energy he puts into this team, and he's selfless. Um, you know, he, he truly sacrifices for his team and his teammates, and um, those are the kind of type of guys you're looking for. I know uh, it was really exciting to get him back, kind of healthy this past week, and uh, watching him run around and make make some plays for us. Probably a little different. He hadn't hadn't uh, been out there as much here, uh, you know, lately. So I'm sure he. <coughs> He probably got a little winded early on, but uh, I'll tell you what, did a great job flying around and, and made a lot of plays for us. Yeah, because I assume he had to kind of work his way back after that first game of the year, right? Yeah, he's been working working hard to get back. And so, again, it's, you're going to have things that happen throughout a year, um, you know, to your body, and you're going to have to rehab, and that's every person on this team, um, just continuing to focus in on our nutrition and our rehab. and. Um, all the things we can do to, to keep guys healthy and out on the field. And uh, again, it's, it's, uh, he did a great job. What is it that makes him such an effective linebacker? Is it the speed, the, the power? What, what is it about Kevin? I think that, but I think uh, as much as anything, how smart he is. He understands football. He, under, he <clears> he's, <throat> he's, uh, uh, understands what we're trying to get accomplished. Um, ask questions. I mean, he's, he's a smart football player, and I think that's – Gives them an edge too because a lot of times that's it's pre-snap your alignment, your assignment, your technique. But um, you know, having a pretty good idea uh, where they're trying to attack you and what they're trying to do, uh, if, if that can slow down for you in a game, uh, it can really help you. And I think that's where he excels. All right, Kevin, you guys got UTSA this week. Uh, what's the feel going into this game? Um, you know, it feels good. Obviously, we're three zero. They're three zero. Um, you know, we're just worried about you know, playing our game. Obviously, they have a really good team. Uh, really good receivers, really good quarterback. Um, you know, it's an exciting matchup, and we're looking forward to it. How do you feel your rivalry with UTSA has kind of gone about the last 10 years? Um, you know, it's been back and forth, obviously. You know, last year we got them. You know, that was a really big win for this program. Um, you know, it's always cool to play those guys, you know, um, down the road there in San Antonio, where I'm from. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a good rivalry. It's a good game, and we always uh, like to play it. You think they're going to be ready after last year? Uh, most definitely, I'm sure their coaches are reminding them about it. But you know, at the end of the day, um, we're not really worried about that. We're worried about playing our game. You know, this, this this year and just focusing in on doing what we can do to get a win on Saturday. You've been here for a while. Did you feel like it was a big rivalry when you came in? 
Did the guys tell you this is a big game uh, for us, or has it grown since then? I, I definitely heard about it when I, before I came here. You know, obviously being from San Antonio, their coaches would come recruit at my high school a lot. You know, and they talked to me about it, and um, so I definitely knew about the rivalry. And um, since I got here, it's just grown. You know, UTSA week. You know, obviously we work a little harder, we lock in a little bit more, and you know, we just, you know, got to play well. Is there just so many consequential games that have been played in this series? Is that added to it a little bit? Uh, yeah, you know, and that's just how it is. You know, it's football. You know, you're gonna have good games, you're gonna have bad games against some teams, and uh, like I say, you know, we're worried about this year. Um, can't really worry about last year and everything that happened. You know, this year they're a new team, we're a new team. And um, as long as we come in Saturday focus, um, we'll be all right. What does being in a winning re or having a winning record rather just do for the team mentally? It means a lot. You know, obviously these past years at moments we haven't had a lot of success, but to have this success early on, you know, <clears throat> a lot of momentum, you know, we're all motivated, you know, uh, like Coach Charles says a lot, well, everything's in front of us, you know, so we're really focused about what we can accomplish if we just stay focused week to week. What, about, what do you see in UTSA as you guys start to prepare for them? Um, you know, they can be explosive if you don't really lock into your keys. You know, they have, like I said, they have really good receivers, good quarterback, uh, good quarterback, uh, good backs, you know. So, I mean, if, you know, you're not in the right spot, you know, obviously bad things can happen. But um, as long as we clue into our keys and we execute the right way, um, we'll be all right. Frank Harris has kind of become one of the most dynamic players mm -hmm. in the conference. Just what makes him so hard to defend? Uh, he's speed, man. He's speed. He can extend plays. You know, he's probably one of the best at doing that, extending plays with his legs. Um, so that's going to be a focus for us, you know, to keep him in the pocket, you know, corral him and not let him get loose. Missed a lot of time since that the first week of the year. It, was it just a long road back to, to being able to play again? Yeah, definitely felt like a long road back. But, um, you know, the sports medicine department here, you know, they really um, helped me a lot. You know, the strength coaches, um, Jeff Smith, all those guys, you know, they helped me get back. And, you know, it was tough to be out, but, you know, the guys, they did what they had to do, and uh, we're 3 on conference now, so that's good. What happened? Uh, I just, some of my ankle, you know, I had a little ankle sprain, you know, so I had to just heal up. Was it tough to sit out all that time in, in a key year like this? Uh, yeah, it was, it was definitely tough. You know, you always want to be out there with the guys, you know, and, you know, you can get a little frustrated, you know, that you're not out there being able to help the team. But at the end of the day, you know, I, I do what I can do for the team. You know, I'm not, not have the same role I have week to week, but as long as I can encourage the guys and help them play to the best of their ability, you know, that's all I'm worried about. Yeah, it seemed that like you came back, you know, at the top of your game, had a real good game this last week. Was that just gratifying to, to not only get it back out there, but to play a good one you, when you did get back out there? Yeah, you know, that was that was big for me. You know, personally, um, just a big confidence booster. You know, first game back from injury, you know, not sure how you're going to play, not sure if, you're, if I'm a favorite of the ankle and stuff like that. But it felt good to go out there and, uh, you know, play to play the way I wanted to play. I just want to ask you about Mason Richards. I mean, he's kind of been a – guy that's figured it out throughout the entire year. Just what have you seen from him? Uh, he's grown so much. You know, in fall camp when he came in, you know, we knew he was going to be a special guy. Um, he's learning week to week. And, you know, obviously he had a really good game this past weekend. And, like, he's just he's just a great player, great teammate, and we love him. Just what what has been the difference throughout the season? Like, what, what has he improved in? Uh, just really keen into the things he's supposed to be um, looking at, you know, uh, making sure he's in the right place at the right time. You know, making sure it's, he's getting his run pass reads and, you know, getting better at that and understand the defense more. And, you know, as, as that comes along, you know, he just starts to play better like he has been. You know a lot of guys from UTSA that are playing down there now? Yeah, I know a lot of those guys. You know, I either played against them, played with them. Um, Rashad Wisdom, one of my best friends in high school, obviously. And Frank played against him in high school. Running back, Brendan Brady, all those guys, you know. You know, I love him, but Saturday, you know, it's, it's not love. It's, it's you just got to get the win. So you go back quite a ways with wisdom? Yeah, yeah. So we played, we know each other since middle school pretty much. And, you know, we came in high school together. Um, like I said, we're pretty, really close, like best friends, man. And, you know, so me and him go way back. A little bit of trash talk for the game? <laughs> uh, we actually don't really talk that much during game week, but like, Throughout the year, other weeks, you know, we talk a lot. Not really trash, just like how you're doing, stuff like that, and how you feel about the season. You know, we don't really trash talk too much. Maybe we'll get some in Saturday, but we'll see. All right, Manasa, you guys have UTSA this week. So what's the, the feeling like around the team after you guys have won a couple of games going into this one? Um, the feeling is just, you know, everyone's just trying to get a day better, 1% better. 
um, coming in um, today to practice, knowing that um, you know we got to make those corrections that we did from last week, and uh, continue to move on and uh, improve. I mean, a record-breaking day against um, Louisiana like Louisiana Tech. Louisiana Tech. Sorry, against Louisiana Tech. Just what went right in the rushing attack? Um, honestly, just uh, doing our assignment, being assignment sound. And then just getting after them. Um, and then our backs just doing a great job getting to the second level, just being physical with them. How have y'all, I know you, the offensive line and the running backs, how have y'all kind of come together over the season to make performance like this? Um, I think it just carried on from last year. Uh, we had a lot of success running the ball last year, and it just kind of carried over this year with a, with a better mentality. Um, I said we just come to practice every day with that mentality of we're just going to run the ball. You know, everyone knows that, and um, we're going to be great at what we do. Well, when everybody knows that, including the other team, I mean, how do you guys consistently run the ball when people know you're going to run the ball? Uh, we just got to be more physical. We got to be more physical team that day, and uh, like I said, being uh, assignment sound, execute on our jobs. And then just focusing on, on on this week, I mean, big game versus UTSA. Just how has this rivalry developed over the last 10 years? Um, I say it's built built up a lot since, um, <clears throat> I say last year. I mean, over the years, of course, since I've been here, um, you know, we, we've had that drive in 2017 and then um, kind of winning on the road in 2018 and then 19 and 20, uh, we, we lost those two years. And then coming back last year, um, we had a you know great game against them. Um, but going into it this year is just more of a rivalry, just because we're just both in Texas. They're right down there, and um, yeah. <laughs> You're one of the last guys that was around for that, uh, you know, that drive to win the game back in '17. I mean, does that still rank as kind of one of the, your favorite memories from your time here? Yeah, I say that still ranks up there as my top three. Top three games, um, you know, makes it fine being there. Um, a lot of the old vets that were there that year, so it's still kind of the top three games that I have. <clears throat> what makes it so special? Um, I say me coming in, being as a freshman that year, um, just kind of looking at the older guys and seeing how they did out on their game, um, just kind of pushed me to, you know, have that drive for when it was my opportunity to be out there. How do you replicate uh, years like 2017 and last year? Like, how do you replicate your success uh, this year against San Diego? Um, I can't, we can't really, you know, replicate that. And, you know, every team is different. And um, our team is different from the past years. And, um, you know, we're just going to keep working and try to become a great team for this year. Was UTSA a big rivalry when you got here, or has it kind of grown over your time? Yeah, I think it just grew on me. Just everyone was, it was UTSA hate week, so I always, I've always heard that, and I was like, all right, I guess it's the rivalry right here. So even when you first got here, that was a thing. Yeah, that was a big thing. You think they're going to be uh, particularly ready this year? I mean, you know, you guys spoiled their perfect season last year. Um. Yeah, I think you know, I think every opponent is going to be ready for whoever they face next, uh, you know, same as us. I think, you know, we'll be ready to go against them. You know, they're a good team. So we're just going to be ready to come out there and do our and do us. Uh, and then what are you seeing in UTSA's defense? Um, you know, UTSA's defense, I just think that their assignment sound on their end. Um, they play well as a defense. Uh, yeah, that's about it. What, what was last year like to, you know, to spoil their – Perfect unbeaten season in that run. And uh, man, it was a you know it was a joy for us um, winning that game and then being able to get into that bowl game. Um, you know we had to fight through a lot of adversity in the beginning of that season and then looking forward towards them at the end last game. You know we just knew that we had to get it to uh, become bowl eligible. Did they just have a lot of skill position talent? from their wide receivers, running backs, Frank, a quarterback. Is that what makes them a difficult team? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, you know, they have uh, great players there. Um, you know, the, the coaches and everything. So I think that they have a great team over there. And, you know, we're just going to have to do whatever we can to do it, to uh, come out with this W. And you've played down there before. Uh, you know, coach down there is, is calling for 35,000 people to show up. Do you figure this is going to be one of those really fun environments to play in? Yeah, no doubt. I think, um, you know, I played there about three times. So I always love, you know, being out there and enjoying the environment that they bring for us.